It figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. Today, game three of this four-game series between the San Diego Padres and the Atlanta Braves. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Max Freed gets the starting assignment for the Braves. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one, and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. In the hit will be Trent Grisham. And we are ready for some daytime Leading baseball. San Diego, the center fielder, number two, Trent Grisham. First pitch on its way. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Guys, one of D Rose's former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, D Rose, talk about a team that's scuffling right now. I had a chance to talk to the manager before the game. He's not happy. The players aren't happy. Yeah, and just a malaise has kind of come over this clubhouse. We had a chance, like he said, to walk through it a little bit. The boys are not jumping around. This is a big game today. This is in the air out to left field. Riley will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Batting second. The shortstop. Vidal Brujan. The batter will be Vidal Brujan. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. First pitch on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. That evens it up one and one. One out, nobody on. Two and one. Fly ball right down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Grounded up the first baseline. Freeman's got it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Juan Soto to the plate now. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And we're just underway from Truist Park. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Only one strike away from throwing a very strong first inning to begin the ball game. He looks sharp. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Padres down in order, and now the Braves will get their initial shot here. No score. Denelson Lamed, the right handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Now into the box, Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off Ozzie. here in the bottom half of the first. Albies. 
Ball one. Guys, these Padres, as they take the field this afternoon, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does the team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying, starting to wind itself down. Every game is more important. The bigger the game, hopefully the better you play. And this team's been playing some really good baseball lately. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Ball and it's two balls and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. Is looked at and the count moves full. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, d -Row, with that stacked infield on the right side. To hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there. Got him to hit it where he wanted to. Put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. Stepping in now, Jalen Miller. That's a strike to throw down. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first pitch, but they were ready for it. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross very wide strike zone. Yeah no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish you better be aggressive. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he third. executes his pitches. No that was a three pitch strikeout Bravo. and with Acuna. the kind of stuff that he has Junior. it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. And here's Ronald Acuna Junior now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. The average entering play at 301 with 19 homers and 61 RBIs. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Solo shot here to left and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as the Braves get on the board first it's one to nothing. Yeah we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game and he does just that blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice they're going to be swinging with the wood here no better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. The first baseman. Now a swing and a ground ball. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Batting fifth. The third baseman. Yohan. Now to the plate, Yohan Moncada. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games.
first pitch on the way. In his career versus this pitcher, he's hitless in three at bats. The 0 1 takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Freeman, the runner at first with two gone. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Count is two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0 Atlanta. Second inning coming up, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, there is precipitation in the forecast, but talking with some of the grounds crew here before the game, they said they don't think it will have a significant impact as we move forward. We can't expect a light sprinkle, but there shouldn't be any stoppages in play. Okay, thank you, Heidi. We'll hope that's true. And, guys, what's the toughest thing about playing in damp conditions like this? I'm going to be honest with you, Maddie. If it stays like this, not a problem. It's just a nuisance. Yeah, the ball might be a little damp. Throwing it across to first base might have to gather yourself a little bit more, but this weather won't affect anything. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Bryce Harper is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. Oh, and one the count to Bryce Harper. And that's in there as well. Oh, and two now. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Albies brings it in on the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The catcher, Luis Camposano. Next up is Luis Camposano, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. First delivery to him. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line to the right side. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Good waste pitch, 1-2. and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Seared down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Dad, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That, that lawn it. dart felt so baseline. good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. In now, Daniel Robertson. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. So far this year against Southpaws, Robertson is a 270 hitter. A respectable number he'll look to improve upon in this at bat. Comes set, and the 0 1 is taken. That's ball one.
and a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Now the 2 1 pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Grounded back up the middle, and that gets through for a one out base hit. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Into the box, Patrick Wisdom. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Eight home runs and 21 driven in. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Fouled away. First and second now, one man out. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Hey, make no mistake about it, this lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's three. pounding his own. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Into the box now, Nick Prado. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready with the 1 0. Hey. Two balls and a strike. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Ready with the 2 1. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Striding in is Austin Riley. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Aye. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's only 2 for 10.
a 3-1. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man Zabort here to begin the home half of the second. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Riley aboard here at first with nobody out. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's one and one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Number 13 for him on the year as the Braves have opened up a 3 0 lead. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. So now to the plate, Alex Jackson. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. Four home runs and 14 driven in. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. No outs, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. So a full count now. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Now the three and two pitch. And a fastball misses their ball four. Well, Dan, do you agree with the timing of the visit from the pitching coach? Looks like the pitching no coach pitcher. is going to come out and have a word nice. with him. Don't like to see that in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way. Ready now is Max Freed, and we'll likely see him square around a bunt. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Ready with the one and one. Two balls, one strike great decision there to pull back step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle and the pitcher is in fact bunting here as he puts this one down now back the second baseman Ozzy. Next up is Ozzy Albies, one for one with a single so far. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. In there at the knees, strike one. 
None out runners at first and second. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. And now a fastball but he's able to hold off on it and it's two and one now. One thing's clear he's not afraid to pitch inside right one pitch ducks him away then he comes right back with another one so clearly this pitcher he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Now the two one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. What a well executed fastball right there down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Soto is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Now batting shortstop Jalen Miller. Next here is Jalen Miller. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah and he didn't put up much of a fight either Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Hey I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in we'll take it. High ties him up with a fastball inside one and two. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball two back to back. Got him to go down swinging there. Jalen Miller becomes out number two this inning. The center fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna digs in now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Now the 1 0. Oh, Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. 2 and 1 now. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. Well two on two outs and he's got himself in a great hitters count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here too. Three and two now. Oh, This is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there but if he comes back. A swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. We've played two. It's now 3-0 Atlanta. Welcome back to Truist Park, home of the Braves, who have proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. In terms of ERA and whip, they rank among the best pitching staffs in the league, leading some of the position players I talked with to sing their praises, while also emphasizing how happy they are to play behind them on defense instead of facing them in the batter's box. One of them told me, our guys are awesome on the mound. They keep us in every game, and they really work hard as a group to push each other to get better all the time. I really appreciate what they bring to this team. Sounds like a group that has earned a lot of respect around the league and from inside their own clubhouse. Thank you, Heidi.
I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd now be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as we head toward the All-Star break, you can see he's on top of the NL in that category. So stepping in is Trent Grisham. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Gone! A solo shot here to left. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And the Padres are on the board. It's now a 3 to 1 game. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to leg out little numbers or draw walks. Well, that time has passed, and guys like this with pop at the plate can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. To the plate Vidal. now, Vidal Brujan. Vidal. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the 2 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. One of my pet peeves in the game 1 0, 2 0, 3 1. You're all over the heater. How are you late on that fastball? Padre shortstop ahead with a three ball, one strike count. Takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Here now is Juan Soto. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. The Padres get one in the inning, and it comes on the solo home run. We play two and a half. It's the Braves three and the Padres one. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Braves to discuss his thoughts on Atlanta's lineup so far. And overall he's really happy with the at bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff Heidi. Thanks. Here you go. For the Braves. Stepping in for the Braves. The Freddie man. Freeman as we Freddie. move on to the bottom of inning number Freeman. three. For me, this is an important add on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. 
as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing and two. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another. Hey not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. But this guy's slider is so good. I think he might throw it again. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Next to bat will be the Cuban import Yon Moncada. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and oh. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. One and two now. Fastball here misses low and it's back to even now at two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And a swing and a miss and another punch out here. Six already and that's out number two. The left field. Digging in will be Austin Riley. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. Now here's the first offering. We're only in the third inning and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball one. 1 and 1. A bouncer up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at all to make a play here. So despite the effort, the inning will continue. Nice the effort right by field. the shortstop right there. Off Kept there. it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he right could there. do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. And I'm sure it was. Stepping in now, nope. Austin Slater. Ball one to start the at bat. Riley leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2 0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. He's set now the pitch. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success in there a base hit. You know your offense just throws a number up on the board for you. The last thing you want to do is go out there and not throw a donut up for the boys. He was able to get those first two outs so quick but now with a hit in a single he finds himself in a little bit of trouble. At the plate, Alex Jackson is he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's one and oh. Looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. The 1 0 home. Listen, I'm biased to the hitters. This is a situation where you've got to be aggressive. He's shaky right now. Two men on, and now you got a 2 0 count. This is where you want to capitalize. Too high. And it's three and oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. He loses him on ball four. 
three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Into the box, Max Freed started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the 1 0. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. Third inning here, 3 to 1 our score. Two and one. You put yourself in this situation, you got to get yourself out of it. You got the pitcher at the plate, 2 0 count. You got to take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. The set and the two and one. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Yeah, from a pitcher's perspective right here, you got to treat this guy like he's the four hole hitter. With runners in scoring position, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but you got to execute. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And this is a great example of what happens when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk of the inning looked harmless enough, but this one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. So up steps Ozzy Albies. One for two on his line so far in the game. Now the first pitch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score any more here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. Albies with a one and one count now. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Low one inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, wear it, because that could have been a run. Here's the payoff pitch. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. Three innings complete. Atlanta leads it four to one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Bryce Harper, grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. One out. Here it comes, one and oh. Ground ball right into the shift. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now, that now at the plate, here is Luis Camposano. He collected a base hit his first time up. Pitch on the way. 
Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. And he misses with it one and one. He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. Ball taken there, two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. One run on three hits and one error for the Padres so far. Hard hit ball to second. Albies picks it up. And that's the second out. Stepping in once again is Daniel Robertson. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One ball, no strikes to count. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Lays off the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. And that misses for ball four and the Friars are going to have themselves a two out base runner. Well that was a slider in a 3 2 count and it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing a good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. And now here is Patrick Wisdom man at first after the two out walk. He's set here it comes. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. The 0 1 pitch. Yeah, flip a coin right here. I don't know what you sit on. Fastball in, then a breaking ball down and away. Pick your spot and go with it. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Scooped up, and as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for San Diego. They trail it four to one. Tyler Sear answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Now it'll be Jalen Miller and he's likely just go. trying to put one in play here 0 for 2 Not with a pair shot. of strikeouts thus far Jaylen. ready with the first pitch here it comes grounded to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out so his day over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the San Diego starter and he'll likely do his best to forget about today. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two home runs. One out, base is empty, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Low for ball one. A ball and a strike.
four runs six hits and no errors so far for Atlanta. And that one misses badly it's ball two. Oh and not an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3 1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. Swung on and missed 3 and 2. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he looks at ball four now so he's aboard and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first and into bat next one of the best run producers in the game the left handed hitting first baseman Freddie Freeman. Come set now the pitch. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Acuna, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. The 1 0. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah that's a good way of trying to control the running game Matt. The problem with it though it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Set to deliver on two and one. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Well, that's just a quality yeah, pitch right there. The location the was man. excellent because if Yo it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. So here's Yuan Moncada. Hey now, he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0 home. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. One left for Atlanta, but they lead it 4 to 1. Welcome back Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres offensive production to this point and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitchers game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone which is resulting in a lot of their outs going forward they have to start being more selective guys. All right Heidi thank you. The first baseman. Nick. Wheels and deals here's the first pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Acuna giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tyler, Tyler Sear. Sear. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Now the pitch. Hey. Oh, 
Eyes, eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far now this back. inning, four pitches and two outs. Got Rinch. the first guy on one pitch, Rinch. then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Standing in now, Trent Grisham. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And now pitch on the way. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Austin Riley. Austin Riley. First offering on its way. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up to throw. That's wide 2 0. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Popped him up. Prado in foul ground. One away. The right fielder, number 14. So now into the box is Austin Slater. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Here's the first pitch. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Slater brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. And a curveball that he didn't get on top of there. It's one and one. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Ball and he misses again ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. And oh that should have been ball four there but it's a called strike and that runs things full at three and two. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now batting, the catcher, Alex. Now at the plate is Alex Jackson. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. And a fastball's in there for strike one. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0 0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0 1 than 1 0. Nope. And that misses 1 and 1. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's 1 and 2 now. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. 
so you'd love for him to offer at that one but the execution was flawless nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out and that ends the inning down in order go the Braves as they hold on to a four to one lead. Now to the plate here is Vidal Brujan and through five turns at bat they've only mustered a total of three hits not terrible but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well it's getting a little bit too late in this game but this continues like this in today's game with so many dominant bullpen arms you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Oh, he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. Miller is under it, one away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. In now, Juan Soto. He'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. No hits to this point. One and one to count. Now the pitch. in the air down the line in left and that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double Dan after that base hit right there he's got a six game hitting streak going you know what and this could be this could lead him on to something some bigger and better things right here he's been swinging the bat pretty well and he's been rewarded for it as you talked about six game hitting streak so far as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. The 1 0. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. to the plate now Luis Camposano as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. The one and oh delivery and two and oh now as this misses below the knees and so now the Braves will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Harper the runner at second with one away. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. Fouled off. Open to send him packing pitch on its way and he lays off so it's full now three and two. Now the 
payoff pitch home. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. now Digging in here for a pivotal at bat, Daniel Robertson. A knock here could cut the lead to just one run. First offering on its way. <laughs> Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Grounded weakly toward third. Barehanded at his knees. He is out. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Braves four and the Friars two. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Max Freed, hitting in his own turn with his guys up by two in inning number six. Max Freed. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Ball one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. The three and one pitch. Aye. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first in time, one away. Next to dig in, Ozzy Albies. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. In there at the letters 0 and 1. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound you could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. The wind up and the 0 1. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. The batter number eight. Next, it'll That's be gone. Jalen Miller, Jay 0 for Ray. 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Now the first pitch. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Bases are empty here with two men out. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three, as they can't add to their four to two lead. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. The third baseman, number 59. First delivery to him. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. 
Boy, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1 home. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Left fielder looking up. Gone! A solo shot here to left. Home run number nine on the year as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Here comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So a good job all in all this afternoon and as it stands he can only win this one as he departs with a one run lead. So they'll go to the bullpen now and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. So now to the plate, the Nick Prado. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh, one, here's the pitch. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Popped him up. Moncada has a play. He's got it one away. Shedlong Jr. will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And now the first pitch. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. His career numbers against this pitcher just three for 14. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, Watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box now, Trent Grisham. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. One and one. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Straight three called, and the inning is over. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Braves four and the Padres three. Taylor Williams will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Bottom of the inning now, and that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. The center fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. High in the air out to center field. Grisham is under it to make the catch for out number one. The first baseman, number Here's the five. first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie. Freeman. Pitch on the way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Williams is a guy that you'll notice attacks hitters with a high velocity slider. Not the old sweeper. He really fires it in there and snaps off big numbers. Now the 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4 3 ball game. Here's a chopper left side of the infield. Reined in. And boy, an error saver there at first if he kept his foot on the bag. He did. Oh, what a play for the second out. So the next to bat will be Bjorn Moncada. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on the way. And that misses for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Yohan Moncada. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Two and one after the foul ball there. Into the windup and the pitch. Down the third baseline. Two out, nobody on. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Down in order go the Braves. And it remains a 4 3 game. Tommy Kainley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Vidal Bruhan will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. He's set and the pitch. Fastball taken a little under the letters called a strike. As we near the end of this one it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero what are your final thoughts on what we've seen. Yeah just non competitive pitches in some big situations Dan and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know Dero one of the things about pitching is you want to have location and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point and what happens when that happens hitters make you pay and the long ball was a big part of this one here. So it was a swinging strike three. Vidal Bruhan goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Into the box, Juan Soto. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Both teams with six hits so far. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. 
three and oh now. Well he was definitely looking fastball here and he got one but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. Fouled away. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. The right field. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Harper swings and hits it very well to right. Slater looking up. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot down the line in right as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Now, Luis Camposano fouled off. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Comes set, the 0 1. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Next to stand in is Daniel Robertson. He grounded out last time up. From the stretch. Nope. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up even though it was in the zone. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Padres strike back to tie things on the solo home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. All even now at four apiece. Isaiah Kiner Falefa will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Pierce Johnson will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Pierce Johnson. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Austin Riley. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Behind 0 and 2 now. 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. And another foul ball. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. At the plate now is Austin Slater. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. To the left side, but it's well foul. One out, nobody on. Called strike two. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. That was a big strikeout there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. At the plate, Alex Jackson. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-0. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. We're in the eighth inning now of a 4-4 ball game. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Ready with the 2 1. Liner towards second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Braves are set down 1 2 3. Score remains tied at four. Stepping up is Patrick Wisdom. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Number 59. He's set. Here it comes. Ninth Eight. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So here is Nick Prado. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Ball one, well below the zone. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Low roller and he barehands it. Safe. Almost a remarkable play, but now the potential lead run is aboard at first. And if you're thinking pinch hitter, here's what the Friars have left on the bench to choose from. J.P. Crawford will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Here's the first pitch as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order however. 
The 0-1. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside. The throw. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Very high, two and one. In his career, Crawford is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Now the 2 1. Nip the corner, two and two. Now a pickoff play at second, and they got him. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Trent Grisham would be next. Ready with the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out on a good pitch, so one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. This game's all tied at four. Tim Hill enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Geraldo Perdomo is up off the bench to lead it off as the possible winning run here in the bottom of inning number nine. Now the first pitch. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Lead off base hit to start the bottom of the ninth Second inning right here. Everybody Obby. in the dugout on their feet, Obby. top stepping it. We're going to see if he works a bunt, hit and run. I don't know. Maybe he's swinging for the gap, and he gets to be the hero himself. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. And he'll try and get that winning run into scoring position as he puts this one down. Throw's going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run moves into scoring position here. And now in the box, Jalen Miller. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Miller is a 300 hitter on the dot. Can't complain about that. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2-0. and A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now a look and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. And definitely worth another look with our show track down. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop. And then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Chance to walk it off, and now here is Freddie Freeman. The winning run stands at second base. Here's the first pitch. Nope, at the ball. Ball one, no cut.
one and zero. Oh. Here it is. Slider finds the zone for a strike. Chin high. That's taken for a ball. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch and we are headed to extra innings. Two left for Atlanta. Still all square at four apiece. Chucky Toussaint takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 62. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Trent Grisham. Here's the first pitch. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. The 1 0. Popped him up. Jackson is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Next up, Vidal Brujan. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Lifted down the line in left. Riley is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. Next, it'll be Juan Soto. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the first pitch. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. There's ball one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Hit on the ground to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. Padres leave one. Score remains tied at four. Into the box, Yohan Moncada. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he's in there at third as the possible winning run. Now back, 
The next to bat for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Lifetime versus this arm. The pitcher's own to Misa Paltry, one for 11. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Well, this is a dicey situation right here, Deaver, with the runner in scoring position. The sack fly brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, Dero? Yeah, right here, you are looking for anything above the belt. You see it up, you have to let it go. This is where you have to check your ego at the door. Something has to be elevated and put into the outfield. Give your team a chance to score a run. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. 2 1 pitches, a sinker swung on and missed, 2 and 2. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed ribbon. The catch is made. Here comes the winning run from third. And they're going to walk off as winners. They've taken it here in extra innings. That's what you call doing your job, folks. He knew he just needed to lift one to the outfield, and that's just what he did. Hey, a walk-off sack fly isn't as dramatic as a game-winning hit, but it's just as effective. Great team win right there. One run finished today, five to four, the final score. Tuki Toussaint gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the big.